Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part four of the build of the LEGO Technic Class Zero on 5000 Track VC. This is how far we've made it in three parts. Make sure to check out the links below if you missed the first three parts. So, we're just going to pick up right where we left off. We're on page 137, step number 208 of this huge model. It's about... 23 pieces shy of 2,000 parts. So I think we still have about this video and one more video probably to make it through all of the parts from bag one or bags number one. There was quite a few bags. Um, and then there's only bags two after this. There's about four bags number two. And that will complete the model. Let's see, we have a non-friction pin. We have this pin with axle joiner. And then we have this axle with a stop halfway through. There we go. All right, let's slide this guy over. And carefully looking at the instructions. Okay. That's the first step, is we've got to turn the model around the right way. And this is sliding under here somewhere. It's kind of weird. It Instructions show it's not it's not connecting to anything. That's kind of how the instructions show it. All right, we're gonna leave it like that for now and see what happens. I don't know if that's supposed to slide or what. So we have this black lift arm. It'll go there. long gray lift arm will go here so I think this is supposed to slide because it's kind of snug in there let's see we take this piece have a three long have a piece there, that goes there. Alright, so this will attach there, kind of hold it on. friction pins Okay. 
this piece slides up there, and this one go right there. Alright. So that piece that wasn't attached to anything was meant to kind of slide back and forth like that. with two, three long friction pins. Put each one of these here and here. up there. Alright, so they show a little diagram with Everything lined up, meaning a tooth gear is lined up like this, and our is back there straight. Guess that's what they're looking at. And then we're gonna slide a bevel gear right there. Not quite sure why those have to line up because nothing has really moved. Okay, move that to the side. We have a little sub build assembly to make. Some friction pins, a pin bushing, two of these eight long axles with a stop. And then this piece goes like that. And this three long, thin left arm with six long axles. together easier if you put it on a table because the axles won't come out the back side. This is the only one of these pieces that came in the first bags. That'll go there. Next is another Pushing two more of these guys. Goes there. This one goes here. Couple 
some more of these bushings. the other side where we're starting to mirror what we did on the first side. One of these in the whole set. So it's got to be for some special function. This is our last of the thin red lift arms. And this piece goes just like that. around like this and we're gonna do some stickers so we have sticker number 28 which will go on this piece sticker number 12 Seven and sticker twenty six. back over and this should all line up okay that looks good selector switches that one goes there and this one goes here and they show that if we turn it around everything should be straight in line there and it is everything looks good all right this to the side. I'm going to build another one, probably for the other side. This one's not going to be quite the same because it's not going to have the selector switches. Oops, that came off.
have a pin with a stud and a light bluish gray tile. Oops. We're gonna put a stud on first and then a tile. We'll go there. Three of these bushing pieces and another one of these curved thin left arms. There, a five long or four long axle with a stop. And this will slide on right there. Kind of looks like we're creating a ladder. Next one. Once again, three more of these bushing pieces. Another one of these axles with a perpendicular pinhole. This will slide onto this. So we're basically repeating what we did on the other side. It's kind of like a mirrored version of it. That will go there. Turn this over. A couple more stickers. We have sticker 13. Those look like caution stickers. Bring this over, turn it around. Everything should line up. Looks like it does. It's kind of the moment of truth. And then you go. push this piece down into there. side should go down too. I have to put something in there to help it 
stabilize it up. There we go. All right, that looks good. Now let's build a fender piece. So this is on the motor side. And that just goes right there. That's our first fender. Move on to the second one now. Looks like it's going to be identical, just a mirrored version of it. This is all, like I said, identical. Just a mirrored version. And it simply goes on the other axle that's sticking up. Alright, now it's time for battery box. And I have one right here with the batteries already in it. So we will. Over the motor. Oh, and it looks like we have a switch that will control the on off of the battery. That goes there. And then they show the cord being wound through this other side over here. they say. Next day, five long axle with a stop with a bushing and we'll put that in there. It's supposed to hold the, the wires, but the wires are in the way. I can't get it through. There we go. All right. Well, that sure as heck turns the battery box on. Okay. Alright, so now we have another fender. Focus. It'll come back and focus.
have this piece with a pneumatic T on it. That slides there, and then we have the lime green angled left arm. Friction pin, a three long, another lime green. And this one is offset one stud. this one fender. Of course the lime green is the color of the, the body of the vehicle. We have some standard Lego elements. Plate. Trans red tile and a trans orange tile. And this will attach to that piece there, and then it'll slide through there. We have a flag piece that'll get stickers. Sticker number seven and sticker number eight. So sticker seven is there. Sticker eight is on the back side. Or the front side, whichever whichever way you want to look at it. That attaches to the pneumatic T. Or bring this over. Facing this way. there. Alright, let's build the other side. Should be very similar, just opposite hand. Start with a couple axles. Friction pin. so far. Oops. Need to put this piece on first. Pieces. We have the bracket, we have the double wide bow shape, we have the plate, trans red tile, and trans orange tile. Oops. Goes there. This slides all the way in there. flag piece with stickers. Right, there's a T 
two stickers that goes there. Oops. She goes like that. Because that's the way the sticker is oriented. And everything should line up here. Looks like it does. Very good. Now we have a couple more pieces. So these pins with the stud allow you to connect Lego elements. They're standard brick elements, I guess. Oops, I need the shorter tile. Actually gonna go like that. Alright, we're gonna build another one of these. So now we know where the front and back is. The back has the brake lights in the front. It's gonna have the headlights. We have a couple more stickers to put on there. We've got sticker number one, which, you know what? These should have went on before we put them on there. It's a lot easier to put them on tiles when they're not attached. And then sticker number two. Just pop that tile off. You can also get a sense of how loose these tiles are on compared to the rest of the model because they easily just pop right off. All right, the model's getting pretty big now. And I'm trying to find my pieces underneath everything. Thought I grabbed two. Yep, there it is. All right, seven long left arm. These both go like this. in there and then slide that in there. I'll hold all that together. All right. So let's do the few more steps and we'll be done with this portion of the build. Appreciate you guys sticking around for this whole thing. All right. We have this, a bushing Axle joiner. Two pins with studs. And two trans clear tiles. I'll repeat it for the other side. with studs and clear tiles. So on the front portion, let's slide these both on there. So that's some um, headlights. You can kind of see them there on the sides. Next little module. Go there.
finger slipped and scraped me. Dang. Who knew playing with a toy would hurt you? Alright. This piece goes there. So bring this over. This slides in there. We squeeze these together like that. And now we have two of these flex tube or flex axle pieces. One will slide in here. Not so easily, but it's supposed to. That one's not sliding in so easily either. I show them all the way in this axle in the instruction book. And I know they're supposed to go because I've put these on Technic models before. But for some reason these are not going on very easily. They must have made them a lot bigger. Or the bar part thicker. Right, so that one went on easily. These are not for some reason. Interesting. All right, let's go with that. It's just aesthetic anyway. All right, so that's going to complete this portion of the build. You can see we've really started to make some progress. It's starting to look like the uh, the tractor. Kind of see a better shot from this angle on what it's coming together like. So we've got our wheel hubs here. We've got our battery box. We've got uh, a definitive front and back. And we're going to start building out the bodywork and everything else up here in, in the next video. So, stick around for that. Check out my other videos. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.